Welcome to another edition of the Gridiron Report. I'm Jared Johnson, and I have good news for Red Raider fans out there once again, as Texas Tech has landed yet another proven veteran via the NCAA transfer portal. This time, it's receiver Kalen Geiger out of Troy. And this has really been a fast process. Um, his name was in the portal earlier this week, um, I believe Tuesday, and he's committing on Saturday. Um, announced his commitment on Saturday. He's the eighth transfer addition um, in terms of a scholarship transfer that Texas Tech has added to the roster uh, this offseason. So some big-time players. I got a, a full breakdown of all the guys before Geiger, um, all the transfers on the roster, um, whether they be returning transfers, um, grad transfers, um, guys with multiple seasons of eligibility. It's all broken down on a, a story, a free story called uh, Understanding uh, How the Transfer Portal Has has Changed Texas Tech's Roster, essentially. Um, so there's that. And this is another addition. This is another um, proven guy, like I said, Geiger uh, in two seasons at Troy. Uh, I believe he caught 141 passes for over 1,600 yards, eight touchdowns. He was the newcomer of the year. In 2019, also a first-team, uh, all-Sun Belt uh, performer in 2019. Um, he's also a proven kick returner. He's returned 23 kicks uh, for over 500 yards in two seasons at Troy. Uh, but, you know, pretty good average, over 23 yards per, per return. So that's that's decent. That's not bad for sure. Um, and he's a native Texan. That's what he's expressed. That's why he's returning to Texas is for family. He has a son on the way. His dad actually is uh, getting out of prison, uh, I believe, soon, actually. Um, and he's from Fort Worth, Pasco. Uh, Geiger is. So, you know, he's returning home for family, but also there's some opportunities at Texas Tech he likes. Um, he believes can get him to the next level. So, uh, you know, honestly, on my end, you know, Texas Tech has been uh, you know, looking at receivers, but they wanted the right guy. I think they didn't mind if it was outside or inside. They just wanted another proven guy. I think they looked at that five-star dude out of Notre Dame who I think he ended up with Southern Miss, uh, I believe. Um, <clears throat> he transferred somewhere else. I may, I may be mixing with basketball transfer portal. A whole lot going on. Uh, maybe it was UCF that he transferred to. Anyways. They've been in the market. Texas Tech has for a receiver transfer, and they got their guy. I, you know, I I could debate, or we could debate. You know, do they need offensive linemen more, or defensive linemen, um, or you know, I, they're still looking at defensive backs as well. You could argue all that, but what you can't argue is that Geiger. You know, whether he's a productive player, proven player, he is. Um, two really good seasons at Troy after two very good seasons at Navarro. College, where he ranked among the best in the country in catches and yards, uh, at least one season, his final season there in Navarro. So at the junior college level. So I mean, good player. I you know they could use him. They're going to use him. Uh, I like that he's also bringing something on special teams, and you know just a, just another solid addition. What Texas Tech has done through the transfer portal, uh, what Coach Wells, all of them have done, has been you know to me nothing short of amazing. They do have more transfers than most other schools. They have some impact guys. Obviously, Tyler Shuck, Marquise Waters, several really good players. Uh, TJ Stormont is, you know, just a big-time player for Texas Tech at left tackle. Um, you know, second team, all Big 12 performer last year at TCU. So, uh, some really good players they've, they've added from the from the transfer portal. And Geiger is the most recent addition. So, uh, the great news for all you out there in Raiderland, and we'll see, because they're not done yet. They still have at least a couple more scholarships, so they'll still be adding to the roster this year. And then, of course, this summer, uh, recruiting's opening up, and there'll be all kinds of visits and craziness on the recruiting trail that I'm looking forward to. So with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.